Hello, welcome back. Many of you have requested to teach a method to remember the atomic masses of first 30 elements. Here I am with the trick but before going into that I would like to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe as I keep updating various methods so that you can easily learn chemistry. Okay, Coming into the trick uh, I have divided the first 30 elements into three parts. In the first part as you can see here I have only sorted out the elements with atomic numbers which are odd. Okay. In the second part of the trick I have divided the elements or I have sorted out the elements with even atomic numbers as you can see here the elements with the only even atomic numbers I have separated and in the third part of the trick I have separated out the elements with atomic numbers from 21 to 30 you can see it here okay let us start our trick coming to the first part of the trick uh, first thing you have to find out is whether your given element is a even number or if it is odd number okay if your atomic number is even and it is falling below 20 okay if your atomic number is odd i will start with odd if your atomic number is odd number and it is falling below 20 as you see here up to 19 i have written here not beyond 19 below 20 we have to check okay if this is there then what you have to do you have to simply double the atomic number and what you have to do you have to add one to it for example i have taken here an element called as boron you see it boron's atomic number is 5 boron's atomic number is 5 okay 5 is a odd number you have to find out if it is an odd or even you know odd numbers are those which are not divisible by 2 and even if you divide it you will get a reminder 1 there okay if your atomic number is odd what you have to do you have to double the number first that means you have to multiply with the 2 then what you have to do you have to add 1 to that number you know 5 twos are 10 and if you add 10 uh, with 1 you will get number 11 so the atomic mass of boron is 11 and if you carefully observe this table have uh, rounded the masses of the given element if you take exact mass of boron it is not equal to 11 the exact mass of boron is not equal to 11 it is equal to 10.881 but 10.811 i have rounded up it to 11 okay so you can do it for any element if you take sodium sodium's atomic exact atomic mass is 22.9897 we have rounded up it to 23 that is not a big difference and that will be not a big problem for calculating any molecular mass or atomic mass of any substance okay then uh, yeah, let us try for uh, the element sodium sodium atomic number is what is the sodium's atomic number it is 11 what you have to do multiply with the 2 if you multiply with the 2 what do you get there the value you will get 22 then what you have to do you have to add 1 to that 22 1 22 plus 1 that is equal to 23 is it clear I think you got that okay now but there are some exceptions for this trick what are those exceptions exceptions for this trick are the element hydrogen and nitrogen they do not follow this method double the atomic mass if you add one for hydrogen hydrogen's atomic mass is atomic number is one okay if you multiply with the two you'll get two and again if you add up one then it will be equal to three which is wrong mass it is not applicable for hydrogen neither it is applicable for nitrogen and nitrogen's atomic number is seven if you double it you'll get 14 okay and if you add up one again here you'll get 
15 which is not a correct value atomic mass of nitrogen is just 14 okay these are the two exceptions hydrogen and uh, nitrogen in this case now let us start the second part of the trick here you can see i have sorted out the elements whose atomic number is even if your atomic number is even then it is easy for you to calculate the atomic mass when compared to the even one it is still easier how simply here what you have to do is you have to double the atomic number then you will get the mass of that element for example take carbon you know carbon's atomic number is 6 if you want the atomic mass of carbon you know carbon's atomic number 6 is a even number so for even number what is the trick is it is simply doubling the atomic number if you double the atomic number it will become 12 6 into 2 it is equal to 12 let us check from the table once if it is correct or not carbon you can see carbon here okay carbon's atomic number is 6 its atomic mass is 12 which is exactly if you see it is 12.0107 but we have rounded up it to 12 anyone you take neon if you double it its atomic number is 10 and if you double it you will get 20 and if you take argon its atomic number is 18 but its atomic mass is 40 which is not fitting in our trick because if you double this one if we into if you do if you double the mass of if sorry if you double the atomic number of uh, argon you will get 36 which is not equal to 40 so even for this even number trick the uh, argon is an exception for it which have which i have men already mentioned here exception here is argon for any other element which is falling below 20 and if its atomic number is an even number simply what you have to do you have to double the atomic number when you double the atomic number what will happen if it is an even number when you double the atomic number what happens it gets its mass okay exception is for argon coming to the third part here i have sorted out the elements from atomic number 21 to 30 i have sorted out here here also the trick is somewhat similar to the previous one uh, as we doubled the values there here also we have to double the values but along with along with that what we have to do we have to add certain number to it not just one as we did in case of odd numbers the number which we have to add it falls in the following sequence it is like this for scandium after doubling the atomic number 21 you have to add 3 to it okay you got it let me check once uh, atomic number of scandium is 21 you double it multiply with 2 you will get how much 42 okay then after that what we have to add we have to add the number 3 as I mentioned you will get uh, the total value 45 did you see the uh, value here 45 in the table which I have mentioned above did you see the value here 45 okay uh, similarly for any other element in the p in the in this sequence you had to add after doubling the atomic number you had to add the numbers 3 4 5 4 5 4 5 3 5 5 i'll read it once again they fall in the sequence 3 4 5 again 4 5 again 4 5 how many 4 5s are here did you notice this is one set of 4 5 this is another set of 4 5 
this is another set of four five how many four fives are here three four fives are that is what you had to remember three four five three four fives you had to write down and in the last it is just three five five let us check one more example here uh, we'll find out atomic mass of iron here okay atomic mass of iron what is the atomic number of uh, iron iron's atomic number is 26 we all know that if you double it 26 then we will get 52 okay if you check iron in the above list it falls in the sequence like this it falls uh, after ma manganese which is a six element sixth element here for sixth element what is the value we have to add here we have to add for sixth element we have to add four so after doubling the atomic number 26 we got 52 now you add uh, 4 to 52 you will get 56 okay so you can find out here 56 can you find out here 56 this is the way to calculate the atomic masses of the elements uh, beginning from 1 to 30 thanks for watching and don't forget to share this video link with your friends and inform them to subscribe to my channel thank you once again